Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. My name's Keith Mendez. Thank you for being here. So I want to start by saying that I've always been a good little Asian boy. OK? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Whatever my parents told me to do, I did it. There was no line of self-respect or personal dignity that I wouldn't cross to make mama and papa proud, OK? Whether that was wash the car, clean the house, give up my childhood, study hard, stay a virgin, become a doctor. Ooh, OK. <laughs> I wasn't a son, I was a puppet. <laughs> and that's led me to where I am today, right? Happy, right? Educated, single, right? <laughs> a valued and respected member of society. I mean, I don't even know what that means. Right? I think it means I pay my fair share of taxes, which I do, okay, which I do. Uh, people think that I must be smart to be a doctor, right? But the truth is, I was just dumb and obedient. <laughs> I, I genuinely did not realize what a commitment to lifelong learning and public service meant. And now that I do, I mean, kind of like Prince Harry, I want a way out, <laughs> okay? Now, don't get me wrong, okay? I, I didn't get into medicine for the glitz, the glamour, the fame, the money, or the women, but that's the least I would have expected in exchange for working as hard as I did, right? Instead, what has it given? 20,000 in debt in student loans, a receding hairline, expanding waistline, a pleasant and affable bedside manner. <laughs> that stuff isn't gonna help me get laid, right? And if it did, it would be deeply reprehensible, right? Now, don't get me wrong, okay? I love working nights, weekends, bank holidays, birthdays, my birthday, your birthday, whose birthday, don't matter, there's always one, right? <laughs> Christmas Day, Boxing Day, Easter Sunday, International Women's Day, Chinese New Year. Right? But, but there comes a time, right? And that time's often an hour into your 12 hour shift when the nurse asks you to do yet another rectal exam, right? Whereby enough is enough. Yeah. And, and believe me, you know, I had enough, okay? You know, in my first year of being a doctor, the nurses started calling me the rather unflattering nickname of the rectal exam king, right? <laughs> and that's, that's not because they were being mean, no, okay? Sadly, because it was true. I did so many of them, you can't help but get good, right? I had a, I had a very, very gentle touch, right? So a guy would come in with tummy pain, vomiting, and bam! <laughs> rectal exam, right? And like I said, they hardly feel it, but I felt it. Man, I, I dealt it. I smelt it, right? That sort of thing stays with a man, right? Sometimes when I look at this finger, I can still smell the trauma. <sighs> you know? I mean, why couldn't they have given me a cool nickname? For example, Dwayne Johnson has the rock. Why couldn't they call me the crack or something, you know? <laughs> at least that's ambiguous enough that it gives me a fighting chance, right? You don't know if I smoke it, if I'm a crack pot. Do you smoke crack? I don't know. Like, you know, the point is, the point is, you don't immediately jump to ass crack, right? But no. Anyway, lately I find myself, you know, venturing away from medicine and my royal duties, so to speak, right? I'm trying to stand up. Um, funny story, before my first open mic, my brother lovingly tells me that brown guys don't do comedy, right? Which, as we know, is both racist and untrue. And if anyone has any personal issue with that, that's that guy right there, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but what can I say, right? When he said that, it affected me. You know, I'd never done this before. I was nervous. So what did I do? I went back home. I got some white baby powder, started patting it all over my face, looking like a freakish white Michael Jackson, just to see if the jokes would come out any better white, <laughs> right? And you know what? It kind of did, man. I was like, that powder was so soft and fragrant, it really helped me relax. <laughs> I'm also trying acting. I did a short film with a French model. Uh, it was legit too. It wasn't like soft porn or anything, okay? But having said that, I'm not entirely closed off to that idea, you know, that my career hasn't taken off how I'd like. So anything that lets me bang out lines in front of a camera, you know I'm down, right? I'm used to practice, right? <laughs> So uh, I even briefly considered becoming a monk, right? But then I rewatched Transformers with Megan Fox, and man, she fine. So it like, made me realize I'm probably not monk material right now, you know? I got, I got too excited, wasn't able to maintain my equanimity or poise, you know? 
So it got me thinking, like, what else can I do? What, what skills does an excellent rectal exam medical practitioner have <laughs> that are transferable across professions? And then I realized, teachers have to deal with a lot of shit. Maybe, maybe I can do that. But then on further thought, I think I'd find that job hard because teachers, like parents, aren't really given the proper tools anymore to discipline children, should they step out of the line, you know? <laughs> you see, I'm living proof that lovingly smacking your child can sometimes help instill fear, drive, and discipline towards academic excellence, okay? <laughs> now, my annual income is probably 10 to 20,000 pounds higher than what it would have been had I not been smacked on the ass, okay? <laughs> now, I'm sure strippers and escorts say the same thing, but that doesn't make it any less true, okay? Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, and I gotta be honest, right? If, if a child was, you know, crossing the line, you know, that line of basic human decency or legality, let's say they brought a gun to school or they're throwing fecal matter at me in some sort of weird homage to my past life, <laughs> I don't know what I'd do, you know, I just might, and I'd find somewhere to blame it on the weather or something, you know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's it. <laughs>